there! Welcome back to the Forest of Drizzling Rain, where I resized it on the OBS. Hopefully you guys don't mind that uh, white line on the top. Hopefully it's not as bad. I'm gonna freaking see what that clock is crying about. Yo, clock! The school clock! The clock that was stopped earlier is now chiming non-stop. Why? I need to stop the noise. Huh? What? I managed to stop it, but I think I broke it. I was too rough, and now the... Stone in the clock fell off. Huh? It looks like something else fell out of the pendulum along with the stone. Next to the stone that fell out is what looks like a photo. What is this here? Oh, oh I can't freaking see the photo. The picture of the pictures of my parents. My younger self and an unfamiliar, uh, unfamiliar elderly man. There's something small written in the back. Written on the back. Looks like mom's handwriting. X X double X double X nineteen X X double X Priff double X City Arkansas Village. Uh, Kenji's father. Kenji, me, and a Shirai. Uh, Shirai. Shirai? There's something else written down, but it's smudged and illegible. Mom, dad, and me? Then, is there a other. Then, is the other person in the photo my. Grandfather? Maybe? It's possible, but you really love those black screens, don't you? Ah! No, I had twin! No, someone's on a twin! It could be a, a main character. After that, I only got busier and busier. Official papers torn. In a set uh, to transfer, it was all so confusing. But what kept me busy the most were all the part-time jobs I took uh, took on to make me uh, make a living. The inheritance my parents left me was all used up to pay for my tuition. I spent every day cramming for graduation. And the rest of my time during pa doing paperwork or working. Schoolwork and the whole processing kept me busy enough to forget my grief. But once I'd reached a stopping point with the paperwork, summer had come to come along with the holidays. Suddenly I had a break. Summer break in university drags on forever, which should have been great, but for me, it only made things more depressing. Everywhere I looked in the house was a reminder of my parents. One day, I happened to glance at a photo found on a clock. The person in that photo was probably my grandfather. I kept staring at it, and thought it all made all the loneliness I thought I'd gotten used to came crashing back down on me. I wanted to see him, or at least try. I wanted to talk to him and ask him things, too. I quickly went to uh, went and withdrew what little savings I had from I had from working. 
use my summer break. I will find the place in the photo. And, and now, right now, I'm sitting on a train. Bound for Azakawa Village. Finally, I reached the station. The sun is strong today. There's no one else here. Pretty sure heading up to the village will also take some time. I just left without taking much luggage, but they probably have a convenience store or something, hey? Where's the bus stop? Oh, there's the bus stop. Oh. Uh, don't buy. Not yet. Uh, let's see. Wait for the bus. The bus for Isakawa Village is in three hours. <laughs> Nothing else to do but wait, I guess. Yeah, what can you do? <laughs> Peace and backbone! It's really taking its time. Still not here. Um. Uh, I don't think the bus is coming. I wonder if I can make it to the village on foot. A police car? Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, well, the bus isn't coming. But not enough people use the use it, so it it was discontinued. Mission? Of course. Well, where are you in your where, were you on your way to Azakuma Village? Yeah. I see. Alright. It's not safe to be all alone here. So how about I give you a ride? Are you sure? Of course. So where are you heading to? I'm looking for the place. Do you know anything about it? Oh, uh, this is the village uh, ar archive. Huh? Archive? It was fairly impressive estate back in the day, but uh, but when you, the owner passed away, it was turned into an archive. So what brings you to this place to, like that? Uh, oh, a, rel a relative. Huh? Um, it's fine, I won't fright. Good. <laughs> Good. Well, get in then. The archive closes once it gets dark. Get to see what it's like. Okay, thank you for giving me a fantastic pan of the estate. Um, thank you so much for this. Oh, man, too. But are you sure this is the right place? Yes. Well, it may be after hours, but the caretaker should still be there. He's strict, though, so he might not let you in. Regardless, if anything comes up, uh, give the police station a call. I will. Thank you so much. 
So we're now on a mystery hunt. Oh wow, this place is an archive. Let's see. Doors open. I guess they're not closed. I've come this far. I might as well take a look around. There goes nothing. It's dark. This smells... it feels familiar. Alright, it's the same as the old clock home. Excuse me, is anyone here? Hello? It appears to be an interior map. It's too dark to make out. I'm just Let's check the wall. Uh, okay, I'm gonna check uh, in here to be on the safe side. Uh, ah. Nope, nothing's there. I just find light. Uh, lamp? Lighting? Locker has open in its case of emergency written on it. If there's anything around here that may work as a light source. No good, it's locked. There's something written on but it's too dark to make out. Of course now I need to go find a lamp. You know what? Let's go uh let's see here. I'm gonna check the left. So it's too dark to go any further. Okay, why am I running? <laughs> why is my first thing sink? Okay, I don't think I'm gonna go through there. There's some written on it, but it's too dark to make out. Okay. The key I built it. Emergency locker is lying on the ground. And we got the emergency locker key. Hello? And immediately just run down here and go straight to the, uh... Here. Inside the locker is an old flashlight. Perfect! Now I can actually see! At least a little bit. This might make it easier to look around. I should maybe check out the map uh, at the entrance now. First, I think we have to check this out. The dimensions to the archive are greatly appreciated. What's that? The interior map of the building. Oh, sweet. I am going to get a picture of this because this is going to be very useful. <laughs> Fight me on that. There's no way around that. This is gonna be useful for when I need to actually use it. Okay, pull it out. Just take a picture on my phone. Screw you. I'm not taking a full picture. There we go. Now we are ready to continue forward. First floor is books. Second is his local history. And the third floor, though. Oh. So we're just gonna look around. Okay. I'm gonna check everything just to make sure. I'm curious about the books, but I didn't have time to read them now. Oh. Hey, so. No good, it's locked. I'm gonna check the bottom floor on this side. Oh! Lock. Um. So this is the kitchen. The upper wall and ceiling are 
and with soot. The refrigerator, the burnt smell is coming from the microwave on top. And the cardboard is full of ordnance dishware. I right, cover it. It sounds like there's a there's an empty space under the floor. Oh. What the hell is this? Alright. Can't open the doors. I see what's bad now. Okay, so we're going up the stairs. You know what? Oh, I can save! Well, from here, I think this is the best time to kind of end the episode. So, I hope all you guys have a great, wonderful time. Actually, yeah, I think this is the best time to kind of end the episode. But yeah, so I hope all you guys have a great, wonderful time and a great day too. We'll go upstairs next episode. So, see you guys next time.